What's up, everybody? It's Wolf. How y'all doing today? Today, we are back, and we're in Avaverse, and it's the Avaversary event, the one-year anniversary of the Avaverse. Um, so there's a lot that's actually happening. What is happening? We need to scroll out. There we go. Um, there is a two-time uh, tickets from the 13th today until the 18th of July. Um... They're doing a hide-and-seek event today at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, NFT emote drop. If you do 25 races between today and tomorrow. Um, and then it's going to reset. And then they're going to do another emote drop. An NFT drop. Um, if you do 50 races from the 14th to the 15th of July. And then two-time hoverboard XP and two-time treasure from the 15th through the 18th. And on the 20th, the uh, Cosmetic Collection NFT drop, if 100 plus. Um, oh, so you get another, never mind, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Um, you get another NFT drop if you do uh, 100 races between, sir? Um, between, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I believe the 18th and the 20th of July. So if you do 100, so it's you get three, three chances at an NFT drop. Don't miss the chances. It's, I mean, this is free to play. You can download this game on Steam and use a free hoverboard and a free character. It's going to take you a minute and a half or so per each race as you get better. The free board it doesn't really prohibit you too much. Um, but that being said, uh, you can come play this even if you don't have an NFT. You have a chance at getting a free NFT drop. You have to do 25 races in the game between two day july 13th and tomorrow july 14th if you're watching this video on the day it's released if you're watching this on the second day then it's going to be july 14th through the 15th you have to do 50 races after the 15th at i believe um what time is it like 1 p.m eastern on the 15th it resets and then from then on, you have to do 100 races between the 18th, I think. Between the, yeah, the 15th and the 18th, if you do 100 races, um, you get an NFT drop. That's what it says. Um, so 25, 50, and then 100. Um, just make sure you're knocking that out if you want the free NFT drop. And then on the 20th, the best machine is going to drop. So right now it's double tickets. Be grinding out double tickets. Uh, you get a chance at, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Um, you get a chance at an NFT drop, three NFT drops to be exact. Um, when they will be dropped, I don't know. I don't think the team actually announced that per se. Um, I think it's just more so you'll get an NFT. We're still waiting on the, the map NFT. I think right now their focus obviously is still on Battle or not Battlebond on Avaverse. Um, the avaverse 2.0 um the graphics update getting the best machine out and utilizing tickets and everything else so i think right now that's just their main focus and then oh wow we didn't okay we could have jumped again uh, i don't know why we didn't get the boost right there but we didn't get the boost that's unfortunate um but yeah, man, there's a there's a lot going on. The two time tickets really worthwhile. I just hit a hundred thousand tickets, so that's pretty cool. Maybe we can uh, up ourselves into the hundred and fifty thousand range. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be a lot of tickets to grab. Uh, maybe not though. I am getting I think around sixty tickets per 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 race, and uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's not really bad. Not bad. Yeah, sixty one point six. So. I mean, 120 every two. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to earn, actually, right now. Um, I'm going to try to knock out a lot of races. I'm probably going to do more than the whole 175 that they um, want people to do. Um, I don't know. I need to do it for my weekly quota anyways. And um, with the best machine coming, I want to have enough tickets to turn into badges um hopefully we'll get the map nft shortly that way we can start using the badges to like power that up because that's part of at least if they haven't changed the plan that's part of their plan was to use um 
the badges and like in-game events to kind of level up that nft i don't know if that will be further down the line or what the plan is but um they do have a bi-weekly spaces where they kind of talk about these things and you're able to talk to the devs and kind of get an insight on what's going on and share your opinions and feedback um i don't know i'm really excited i uh, it's it's uh, awesome to see that they're... I like that they're giving back to the community. Um, I think I'd have more faith in saying this if I seen that like they had provided the map NFT to people that have earned it because it's been months. But I also understand why it's taking as long as it is. I think they need to obviously, one, figure out the contracting, how that's going to tie into this game, how it's going to tie into the Project A, and how it's going to tie into their whole ecosystem. So there's a lot, a lot in the background that kind of goes into what they're creating. So that's why I don't really fault them for having not dropped it yet. But um, I don't know. I feel like uh, it should have been approached possibly different because, I mean, I feel like a lot of people were expecting to do the work that they did and then get the drop within like a month or so but i believe at this point it's been two to three months um so i mean i don't know i spent a lot of time doing that and i'm sure it'll work out in the end and we'll get the nft but you know what i mean that's just that's just where i'm coming from on it um but i assume these nft drops will work out in our favor as well they said they made a new contract um i think i did a video kind of covering the standard um when we did the manifold videos um i can't remember what it's like a erc 10 something if i'm not mistaken um but it's it allows you to make like multiple copies of the same nft and it's more gas efficient and such um but I definitely covered that in my Manifold video. Uh, I've been kind of out of the game when it comes to creating contracts and all of that. I've not really been working on that side of things. I've been really focused on like art and the creative side of content of like just creating more YouTube videos um, for my main channel and trying to get um, like a schedule in place for creating consistent chan uh, content here on this channel. Um, so yeah man that's where i've been at and that's realistically the update i have for avaverse um i'm super excited for the best machine on the 20th we're definitely going to have a video covering that um uh, maybe some live streams in the next few weeks um i haven't streamed in a minute i've just been i don't know i turned off by twitch and what they're doing with the community and the earning and the whole running of ads and this and that and uh realistically i'm just too lazy to set up youtube streams um you need the you gotta get you gotta create a thumbnail initially you gotta do it there's a whole bunch that goes into the youtube streams um i feel like if you want to be successful and um it's also hard because I don't know what channel I don't even want to like stream from, right? Like I have so many normally like mixed streams, right? I don't I don't normally just stream one thing. So it would be hard for me to um decide where I want to stream from on the YouTube status seeing as I have multiple pages. Um so I don't know. I don't know what the plan is and how we're going to go about streaming moving forward, but I've not really been too interested in streaming on Twitch and trying to grow over there. Um, I'm more focused on growing my YouTube content and channel. Um, I need to take the leap into streaming here. I just got to figure out what to do and how to do it realistically. Um, the most efficient and effective way to where all of my audience can benefit um yeah that's that's real realistically that's 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 where i'm at with it um i might just use my woof like the main woof channel and uh that will be where we stream from but i again i don't know we don't really need to talk about this on the stream so around the video um yeah
I don't know. This is a fun game. I, I like the game. I like the different um, Grand Prix as well. I mainly play GP1. I've said this in the last video talking about GP3. Um, it's fast. You get, you know, a decent amount of tickets, right? Um, I think the buff on GP2 is still there, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, you get a little bit more. But, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I'd rather play play gp1 and uh do what i know um i'm excited for the whole um different game modes that they want to bring in um the turtle racing will be here soon um and then obviously they've been talking about doing the whole um like the gun game kind of like battle royale type of deal and or like a tdm um type thing like call of duty almost um where there's guns and then you could have like a uh racing battler mode as well um where you're you know using the guns and such on the boards to do this stuff so i don't know i'm excited to see what they're gonna do and where the game's gonna go and how it's gonna all end up um Again, I'm not necessarily fully invested in terms of owning an NFT, but I mean, I've spent a lot of my time playing the game. Um, I've amassed quite a few tickets, and I mean, I'd like to see something come from it. And you know, like I'm, I feel like in that form, I am invested in the game and the company. Um, I would like to get a first arrivals character um, eventually. Look at Shorty Thick, but. Uh, um, Right now, I just I don't want to spend the like two hundred dollars or so on it. It's a good time to essentially possibly get in and do it, just because you know ETH's down and the market's down and everything's kind of on sale. But if market keeps going down, then it's like uh, it's kind of whatever. At the same time, like I mean, I waste more money than that on stupid stuff on a daily basis anyway. So it's like maybe it's worthwhile. Um, but that's that's the the risk you take while investing but with owning a first arrivals i believe you do get a project a drop you get a second arrivals drop and all of that good stuff so i feel like just for the guarantee of what you get out of having the character for like future mints uh well access to future mints and such um without having the map nft alone um i feel like it's worthwhile i'm kind of a uh collectionist and completionist when it comes to collecting um so it'd be cool to have a ava character and a hoverboard um i just gotta get the money in the right spot um you know and make it it's got to be something that like i really want to do because i'm not going to spend money on it if it's not i don't know i i'm very particular about how i operate and spend my money which is probably a good thing um but yeah enough rambling on hopefully you all enjoyed if you did please like share comment subscribe and i will see you all in the next one i'm going to intently try to finish this race out and uh yeah it's been real peace